Today we're going to talk about how to breed crickets for your reptiles. So let's begin with small scale cricket production. So I like to start this in the bathtub, that way any escapee crickets can't go far. So we're going to start off with a nice clear tub with a ventilated lid. We're going to use something called vermiculite as substrate. The reason for it is it's really absorbent and it's really good at absorbing those smells and making sure that our cricket bin doesn't absolutely stink because if you don't it certainly can. So we're going to pour a nice healthy amount of vermiculite into this tub, giving them a substrate of around sort of a, an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches deep. You might see this stuff used in egg laying boxes for snakes. It's nice and spongy, nice and soft and highly absorbent. Then what we need to do is give our crickets some cover and some more surface area for them to get into hiding position but also so they're not crawling all over each other constantly. The next thing we're going to include is a food and water source. I'm using red bell peppers in this video. Red bell peppers are great for carotenoids and they are very, very watery and juicy. So it fulfills both of their needs. I'm placing this all at one end and it's the food area so that when I go to check, I can just replace all the food in one end and I've left space for the next crucial part of the setup. Now what I'm going to do is introduce my crickets. Now this is why doing it in the tub is so easy because if I open these and they accidentally spill or start jumping everywhere, they're not going to get far. I find it's best to just transfer over the egg carton that they're already on and then just tip in the remainder. So I'm going to actually take the container they came in and use that for the next part of the setup. We're going to fill this around halfway up with vermiculite to be our egg laying medium. Now crickets rely on a good moist environment to lay their eggs in so we're going to spritz this down with water and make sure this vermiculite is nice and wet the good thing about vermiculite is that it won't mold dry or wet and this is going to go in the space that we've left for it as the crickets mature they will start laying eggs in the egg laying medium then you can put a lid on that tub and transfer that into a whole new empty setup for the pinhead crickets to hatch out in and finally we put on our ventilated lid and place that in a warm place now you want to put these crickets somewhere warm. You want to place the container somewhere that's around 26 degrees as a minimum. That's 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Luckily this room sits around that anyway, so I can get away with just placing the tub somewhere in this room. But for some of you, you might want to put like a ceramic heat emitter near them or put them near a heat mat. Anyway, you can just bolster those temperatures for your crickets. The main thing with feeding is you want to feed a maintenance diet, which is separate from a gut loading diet. So let me explain. So people think that gut loading is just feeding the insects well over time when actually gut loading is feeding a specific diet to the crickets to fill their guts with a certain profile of nutrients that you're aiming to deliver as a vehicle to your reptile that you feed it to right so if your target for this feeding is calcium let's say you would use some sort of commercial gut loading diet like this one here this one here is the arcadia insect fuel now this is a good insect gut loader that's meant to fill their gut for the purpose of delivering that to the reptile. The problem is people don't consider that this is not appropriate for the maintenance diet of crickets long term. For example, I believe this has around 20% calcium. That's a lot of calcium, which calcium actually causes crickets to get compacted on long term in their diets. So you get mass die offs on crickets fed high calcium diets. So it's not appropriate to feed that to them in the maintenance colony. That is one of the main things that people get wrong and they follow tutorials and setting up crickets and they can't seem to get their crickets to survive it's because they're giving them gut loading diets as a maintenance diet and killing them off calcium so what you want to do is have your maintenance colony over here feeding them a well balanced diet of carrots bell peppers butternut squash pumpkin is a good one things like this which are good in carotenoids and vitamin e and things like that but also a good source of water for them Feed that to them long term, maintain your colony, breed them, do what you got to do. And then when you're going to feed a certain amount off to your lizard per se, let's say I'm going to feed five crickets off to my bearded dragon. I would take five crickets, put them in a separate container, then give them my gut loading diet and get them to eat that for 40 hours and then feed them off. If you like this sort of video, subscribe to this channel because there's a lot more of them coming and I'll see you in the next video.